And welcome back, my fellow gears. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to LA Noir, the Naked City. Real quick, let's show you. We were actually at 48% game completion, which is actually about right. We are missing a, the collectibles, which we'll tackle usually all in one episode, minus the newspapers. We'll get those per level, minus the one novel that we already collected. So we need to find Dr. Stoneman's office. Here, Stoneman, Office 505. Thank you, that was easy. And it's like these rooms are set up. We'll go just go straight up. I swear, if we lock up every doctor in this town, Vice would be able to work half days. Uh, again, you don't sound too happy about anything. Okay, I was like, did he go to the first room? Yes, sir, your name? LAPD. We'd like to see Dr. Stoneman. Dr. Stoneman is with the patient. Would you like to wait? No, we wouldn't. Tell him we want to see him now. There's no need to be rude. Save it, sister. Dr. Stoneman, I have some gentlemen from the mm. LAPD here to see you. Um, send them in, please. I'll, uh, I'll see this patient again after they've left. Dr. Stoneman, we are investigating the death of one of your patients, Julia Randall. I'm very sorry to hear that. Do you mind if we ask you some questions about Ms. Randall? Uh, um, not if it doesn't compromise doctor-patient privilege, Detective. That's fair, but tell me the relationship. How well did you know Ms. Randall? Fairly at all. Um, she'd only been a patient six months or so. Mm, no. Julia Randall has been your patient for nearly a year. I'm sure you know that. Do you doubt my veracity, detective? Do you have access to my patient records? No, but we know that the prescription started in 46. I don't know what day it is, but... Your prescriptions contradict you, doctor. Miss Randall was in the fashion business, as you probably know. She was jumped up on Benzedrine by day and knocked down by sleeping pills at night. I, I, I told her to slow up, but... No. Life was too short for her. And you supplied the prescription for the Benzedrine. It's not illegal, detective. A lot of young women in her line of work use it for weight loss. Yeah, it was right. That's what it was about. You wrote Julia Randall a prescription for Benzedrine. How can you account for that? Miss Randall was in the uh, fashion business. She wanted to control her weight. Just don't eat it. Um, no. You can't say that. Watch what you eat. Benzedrine is addictive, as I'm sure you know, doctor. As I warned her, but she was determined. She said she needed it to control her appetite. Sounds like you knew her pretty well. I knew the line of work she was involved in. Mm, I don't know. That'll be all for now, Dr. Stoneman. We'll be in touch. That's all we have for him. Dang, there's a lot of people here now. Sorry, guys. I see the phone icon, which means we have to deal with phone stuff. But we'll do phone stuff back in the car. Because why would we do it in a doctor's office? Obviously, people hate us already. The old boy is lying. We know that. About what? I don't know. <laughs> He looked relieved when you said she was dead. That's a strange reaction to have to the death of a young patient. I mean, I'm agree with you there. He does seem a little out of place for that. But. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. Like I normally do. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? Messages, please. Yes, detective. The coroner's been asking to speak to you. I can connect the call if you like. Please, thank you. You know, how do you handle his messages? Cole, can you get over here? I just finished the autopsy. Sure thing, Mal. We'll be right over. We 
We've never been to the receiving hospital, so let's do it. Shouldn't be that hard. If I could breathe, it'd be nice too. Why are we like casually jogging, Cole? We have to get there now. You know the way. You can drive. Why is Where I don't like going? the fact Randall's apartment's still highlighted. Have you noticed how croakers only pull out the physician-patient privilege card when they got some to hide? There are certain things people have a right to keep private. Until it gets in the way of police work. And it's only private when it suits them. A couple of drinks and every doctor I've met will spill your darkest secrets in a heartbeat. I believe Roy here just because HIPAA wasn't a thing until I believe the 90s, so... It, it makes sense of the uh, patient confidentiality. Is that the same nurse from the, uh, Fallen Idol? <laughs> We're just gonna skip everything, I guess. Why well, is there too Cole, much? Roy, I have some information for you. Good, tell me about it. You're the only person enjoying this, Mal. Get on with it. The bruising confirms two sets of hands, so we have two killers. Death was caused by heart failure due to an overdose of morphine. Have you dragged us down here to gloat? We already heard your theory. We agree that she was murdered. Yes, of course. I have something else to show you. All right, Mal, what gives? The dead guy's name is Jimmy LeBlanc, career burglar. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of two-by-four. So what? Good riddance. I found two surrettes in his jacket pocket. Wow. Hang on a minute, Roy. We're listening, Matt. No sign of morphine use and no metabolized morphine in his blood. Scratch marks on his face. Which could be from getting his head remodeled. Time of death, Matt. Maybe an hour or two after the Randall girl. So you're saying Laughing Boy here could be one of our killers? That's a hell of a long shot. Thanks, Matt. We'll check it out. I found something else. I actually believe that one. Dang, he got destroyed. What else you got for me? You need to get back to the case, detective. I've got reports to write. Sorry, I don't play. I don't know if it's significant. His wallet was empty. The only other things he was carrying were the harmonica and the morphine. What? Carruthers. Yeah, he's here. I'll send him over. They have a guy called Henry Arnett in interview two for you next door. Let me know how you get on. Sure, Mal. And thanks for the lead. Why harmonica? Sure, Mal. Thanks for the lead. Gosh, I hate Roy. Granted, I, I know what happens soon, so it's like... I'm trying to imagine it sucks. you with a personality. Uh, where is interview two? You interview two? You're interview two. Mr. Arnett, I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. Thanks for coming in. Call me Henry. It's the least I could do. Terrible news about Julia. Well, tell me about your relationship. How well did you know Julia Randall? Vaguely. I'm in the clothing business, and Julia occasionally models for me. Mmm, no. He's asking whether you banged her in a chuck-on-the-shoulder fraternity kind of way. I'm engaged to be married. It wouldn't be polite. Answer the question. This will remain private. Heather won't have to know. The answer is yes. <laughs> yes. We had relations. Nice. Miss Randall's landlady said she was seeing an older man. Could have been. I wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private life. Well, something's not right about that, sir. Henry. I don't like when people lie to me. She was seeing a man named Henderson. You know who I'm talking about. Easy on, detective. I may have heard of Henderson, but I don't know his full name. I think he's from New York or someplace back east. He's doing really good, unlike some other people, but... That's funny. Julia told her cleaning lady that he lived in San Francisco. Okay, you got it. I don't know where he's from. Julia wanted money. She always wanted money. She thought she could get something from this guy. She 
was wearing a distinctive engagement ring. You think she might have convinced him to buy for her? Maybe he did, yeah. Maybe he and Julia were getting serious. Oh, LeBlanc. Ever heard of a Jimmy LeBlanc? No. Should I have? Is, is he an entertainer or something? Why are you, like, just looking everywhere but at me? So you wouldn't have any reason to believe that LeBlanc would be involved in Julia Randall's murder? If this guy is a criminal, he, he might have been involved. But, like I said, I've never heard of this LeBlanc character. Hmm. Heather told us that you were in fashion. That's right. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn guy. Yeah, let's do that. Some kind of traveling salesman? Once I got out of the Corps, I used my... You were in the Marines? Sure. I'm proud of it. Fighting Sixth. You were in the Sixth Marines? Yes. I was a captain. Which company? Uh, various companies. We had a lot of casualties. Which engagements? Okinawa. A couple of other places. He's lying. That'll be all for now, Henry. He gets Phelps knows. That son of a bitch was never in the Marines. Why'd you let him off the hook? Because we're giving him a couple of minutes before we start tailing him. Arnett is an amateur. We need to find out who killed the girl. Can you pass this on to Bukowski? Have him check the place out and go through his records. Sure, I'll pass it on. Thanks. Can you also have R and I run the records on a Jimmy LeBlanc and find out who was his last arresting officer? Have him get in touch via KGPL when they have some information. Cole is like on fire today. Oh crap. Okay, I'm at the drop. He's in that car at the light. All right, do not get caught. He was squirming like a worm in there. Don't you love it when they pull the war hero excuse? Actually, maybe you don't. I mean, he really doesn't, because... Don't drive like a maniac. And let him get plenty of space. Dang, he flaws. Ooh. I right, now cross. Don't get caught. I'd have expected a cad like Arnett to be a better liar. I mean, yeah. Oh, what the? Blew. Random traffic accident. Just chilling there. He still has his yellow car. He's way up there, but as long as we can still see him, I'm not too worried about it. Alright. We gotta go. Where are you taking us, Henry? That's what I'm wanting to know. I need to, I need to hurry up. Are we still going? No, we're still going. That's intriguing. We'll run the red light in a minute. Oh, he's getting... I can't tell how far away he is. Death reception silence my strength. One over cop. So he's really not that far away. That idiot never stepped foot in Okinawa. I believe you, Phelps. What's going on? There's a reason why we stopped. Oh freak, I lights. I wasn't expecting the lights there. 
they just change the lanes. Is he done? I think he's done. Well, if you guys are done, I want to go too. Second hand store? He needs money and fast. Get in there and find out what he pawned. I'll stick with him. See how he intends to spend the money. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Huff it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. What? right there game all right there is an achievement for this and it's very simple don't get caught he's gonna turn left now he's gonna keep going straight freak so he doesn't turn left so I don't have to go across the road if you get caught, you have to restart the, the car scene and the uh, tailing again. Looks like he's on to us so far. Alright. Yes, yeah, so I'm being very careful. What the heck is this? I've That's right, Mexico City. One-way ticket, please. Next available seat. That would be one day from now. Is that okay? It's going to have to be. Why Mexico City? LAPD. The man who just came in here, he bought a ticket? Yes, sir. To Mexico City. Tomorrow night. If you hear from him again, don't mention this conversation. <laughs> what have you got? He bought a ticket for Mexico City tomorrow night. That's good, but this is better. Okay, what do you got? Oh my God, it's Fabergé. Should have seen the look on the pawnbroker's face when I told him to hand it over. Hmm? The guy who owned the joint thought it was worth at least ten large for a cigarette case. Arnett only got six hundred clams. Which isn't bad. I, I, remember it was love and affection always? Huh. That's very interesting. You know what? We're gonna drive for once. Car 11K, 11 King, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 11K, go to Hollywood Station. Homicide detectives Bukowski and Galloway have information relating to the Randall case. Roger, KGPL. 11K, on route. Car 11K, Car huh. 11 King, come in. Car 11 King, go ahead. RNI reports the last arresting officer for DOA, Jimmy LeBlanc, was patrolman Fred Wallace, who's working a shift on Hollywood 9th Beat, Sunset Boulevard, between Gordon and Wilkins. 
That's where I want to go. Car 11K, on route. All right, I will meet you guys there. What am I talking about? We're going to get out of the car and let him drive, because that's what we do. You can drive. And then he's going to tell us a story. So, I'm pretty sure... I don't a think it's actually him. ticket to Mexico. Old Henry's looking as guilty as a dog next to a pile of dog shit. Uh, What's his motive? I can think of a few, but I'd put my money south of the belt. One guy plus two dames always equals problems. I agree. That's my theory. By the way, this is actually one of the longest cases in the game. We haven't figured that out yet. Because we're already past where we were last time. Come on, let's give him a hand. Right behind you, Wallace, Detective Phelps. Wallace, go left. I'm going right after this little prick in the alley. Yeah, I went. Do you want me to shoot him or do you want me to stop him? Man, that cop can book it. Oh, we're fighting. Okay. Put the fuck out! I gotta shot that guy in the head. You're covered, Phelps. Wait, you, you lived? I just shot you point blank in the head. Huh? Thanks. Outstanding warrant, armed robbery. Knocked over a drugstore back there, and it looks like he brought his whole posse with him. Bad luck for them. They're all yours now. We need some information. Ever heard of a burglar goes by the name of Jimmy LeBlanc? Sure. I nabbed Jimmy on a burglary beef a couple of years back. They cut through a music shop and into a jewelry store. He got four years. That's it? I miss his partner, though. His partner? Big guy. I had him cornered, and he picked up this huge display case and threw it out a plate glass window. Then he vaulted out of there like something out of Barnum and Bailey. He got away. I would have had him, except for LeBlanc yelling, run for it, Willie. And you think he was an acrobat of some sort? More like a strong man, a wrestler, or a boxer, that kind of thing. Okay. Thanks. No big help. You haven't done too badly yourself. I mean, you know. You're behind the wheel. Fine. Where so are we So let's go headed? back to the police station now. You're suggesting LeBlanc is still working with Willie? A strong man held down Randall while someone administered the morphine. Someone with muscle opened up LeBlanc's skull. Could be. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. But... I don't know. So what is... Well, this has been a long day. We've been at this for a while now. We caught up with Mao. He's given us the dope on LeBlanc. He worked burglaries with a big guy. Goes by the name of Willie. He might be our killer. Can you work boxing gyms, the Y, promoters, that kind of stuff? Since when have you started giving orders, Phelps? And where's the burglary angle? There was no sign of a... That's where our net comes in. Next stop, we speak to Lacey about a list of recent burglaries. This guy's a bum. His office is a front, and he's behind on the rent and his phone bill. And he's skipping town. Tomorrow. Let's get him in and beat it out of him. Do you want to bring in the killer, Rusty? You could be too smart for your own good, Phelps. We've been talking about that, haven't we, boy? Stefan? Finbar? <laughs> that was his name. Sir, I need the contraband list. Item stolen over the last year. Hang on, I'll dig out a copy for you. What? Here you go. What's that to do with your Thanks. Thing? Is the cigarette case on there? Oh, uh, yeah. It's here. Wait. Arnett must be out of his mind trying to move this while under a murder cloud. Julia Randall's ring. It's here. Wait. She owns the ring? Okay. What else? Silver pill box. Yeah. Seems Julia wasn't the first board society girl to hide her bennies in that pill box. I mean, the only thing I can think of is to say a pearl crap. Even the engagement ring was purloined. 
Our net is a cad. Dang. So, our net has stolen a lot. Alright. Well, crap. Where's Everstorm's place? You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Oh, we apparently have it. I didn't going? know that. Kingsley Drive. Alright, let's go. So, oh, he, this is how crazy this mission is. All my notes. So you and Rusty have been having discussions. Anything you would like to tell me, partner? Valves, don't be so touchy. Rusty had his best ever clearance rate working with you. Even if the cases he worked on can't be discussed. We were just comparing notes. You're a Boonaroo case man, Phelps. One of the best I've ever seen. But well, thank you. Thanks. What's the catch? You gotta learn to take a compliment, Phelps. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of hard to take compliments from a guy who's that, you know, jerkish. <laughs>